How's it going, everybody? My name is Elfemimer. Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of New Earth Mid Wars. I haven't done one of these in a while, so it's it's gonna be pretty nice to get back to it. Let me just drop the safety pin. Don't ask why I was holding a safety pin. It's none of your business. Let's take a look at our bands. Hopefully, this guy, dude, you're not getting devourer. Let's just uh be realistic here. Who's gonna let you pick devourer? So. We got Band, Flint Beastwood, Forsaken Archer, Devourer, Malakin, Predator, and Prisoner 945. Okay, so those all make sense. I don't think I need to explain why those make sense. That guy's going to pick Midas. That's pretty cool, I guess. Who are we going to pick? That's our big question. So who was our last person that we played? I think it was Parasite. If I am not mistaken. So Parasite's an intelligence hero. I think we are due for a strength hero. He's going with Midas. I he's gonna go with Gauntlet. He's going with Electrician. I'm gonna go with Lodestone because Lodestone is a friggin' baller. Literally, he rolls on a ball. He's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna talk about uh, our team first, I guess. Yeah, let's talk about our team first. Then we'll talk about the skunky uh, enemy team. I don't know why I call him skunky. Just deal with it, okay? I haven't done commentary in like at least a week since I put out that Dark Souls uh, E3 trailer. So forgive me if I seem a little bit different or something. Hurry up, Voodoo Jester. Load in. Come on, man. Ain't got all day. Okay. So we will talk about uh, Lodestone first. Lodestone is a really cool initiator type hero. He's considered an anti-tank, I do believe. Uh, what am I doing? I've been playing too much D2Air. If I can ever get dota to actually uh work for recording then i i'll do some d2 wear but until then we'll do heroes of new earth okay so load snow my first skill is rocket drill i throw my uh right hand i, I literally just turned around to make sure that that's his right hand <laughs> i guess i apparently skipped third grade or when do you learn your right from left i don't even know anyway you throw your rocket drill you throw your hand at this location that you see right here your hand will land it'll do a slow to anybody that it hits and do damage and then you can activate the skill again and pull yourself towards your rocket drill and anybody that you go through uh, any enemy that you go through will be stunned and damaged once again like so so slither is gonna definitely die I'm gonna get spun on by Swift Blade, but I'll live because I'm super tanky. My second skill, Head Smash, is exactly what it sounds like. I bash my head into the closest mofo that is unlucky enough to be next to me. I do damage to myself and him. It cannot kill me. It's a lot like a Double Edge from Centaur War Runner in Dota, if you know that hero. My third skill, Lodestone Plates. Passively heals me for 35% of the damage that I take, which means I effectively take 35% less damage. However, it's not an actual damage reduction. It You take the full damage, and then you get healed for 35% of it. And you passively gain charges every blah blah. So what? Okay, then my, thir or my ultimate, which is <laughs> the reason that I like Lodestone, because this ultimate is... A little bit broke in mid wars let me be completely honest so it's shatter storm shatter oh I got hit by that shatter storm I put a 20% or I, a shield on myself that gains 20% damage reduction every second for five seconds which means at five seconds I have invulnerability essentially I take 100% less damage from everything uh, however after five seconds that shield will explode dealing 275 mixed damage, which means physical and magical, which means it does, or at least the physical part, goes through magic immunity. And it does a movement speed slow, and Shatterstorm also basically tears away the enemy's armor and magic, uh, yeah, armor and magic armor. So they take a lot of damage. It's really, really hard to deal with in mid wars because I get a stacking shield on myself. Which means I take a lot less damage, and it has a decent radius, if I do remember. It, and that's essentially why Lodestone is an anti-tank, because it shreds away all of all of the uh, 
all of your armor and your magic armor, making tanks less tanky. That's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, that took far too long. Let's talk about our team, shall we? We have Gauntlet. Gauntlet is very good. I just hit my mic. I apologize. Gauntlet is very good for mid-wars. He has a hook. He has a janky hook, but it's it works nonetheless. Uh, we have Voodoo Jester. Voodoo Jester is... Witch Doctor? Yeah, Witch Doctor in uh, Dota. So he has a really nice stun for mid-wars. It bounces in between people can stack a really high uh, stun duration on people let's just bow okay I'm gonna die most assuredly yeah I'm gonna get flicked let's put that on wait what is this on me I think that's uh oh yeah that was um panda bears or not panda pandemonium I guess he is a panda that was his bull crap that reduces my armor uh, with Draconis, Draconis is a decent, actually Draconis is a pretty good carry for mid-wars. He has that, he has his ultimate that makes his auto attack split to two other hero, or two other people, including the guy that he's already attacking, which makes him very effective for, uh, mass team fights. What are we buying? I guess we'll buy boots. I haven't played mid-wars in forever, man. It's, it's a lot different from D2Wear, so... I have to get used to it again. We also have Midas. Midas is really good, like I said in my video where I played Midas. And we have myself. Then the enemy team. They have Slither. Real freaking annoying. Slither, uh, poison damage. He's Venomancer. Swift Blade. Again, really annoying. He's, uh, the Juggernaut. He has this stupid little spin and a stupid little Omni Slash, whatever it's called in this game. I tell you, man. Ooh. It's, it's really hard going back and forth. Uh, between Dota and oh shit, I'm gonna die. Ah yeah, I'm most assuredly gonna die. It's really hard going between Dota and uh, Heroes in New Earth because a lot of things share similarities, but they have different names, so I can never remember what the actual names are for each respective game. We have Electrician, who is, truth be told, god dang it, truth be told, not the greatest pick for uh, Mid Wars. Because he can, he can basically, essentially, only disable one person at a time. Like you saw right there. I'm not gonna... Fuck, fuck off, Panda. Jeez. And they also have... Let me just look over here. Pyromancer. Pyromancer, uh... Good, I guess. I don't, I'm not going in on that. There's nobody else to back me up. Pyromancer's annoying. That's, that's about it. And Pandemonium's real freaking annoying. I hate Panda so much. Even after they nerfed him into the ground, he's still just so annoying. His his uh, cannonball goes way further than you think it would go unless you, of course, you know, play Pandemonium and you know, just move my mic, hopefully that didn't make a loud noise, and you know how far Panda's uh, jump goes. It's really annoying. He's uh, He's an annoying hero. He can manipulate your positioning, he can manipulate your, uh, you know, movement, all that crap. He's just, just annoying. I don't like him. I never did. Never liked Panda, but he's kind of a hallmark staple hero of, uh, of, uh, let's just pop my ult right now. He's a hallmark hero of Heroes of New Earth. What? What are you doing, Lodestone? Oh, yeah, and when you do Shatterstorm, Lodestone loses all of his, uh, all of his armor plating, which is a nice touch, I guess. I don't have any mana. Slither, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, that's that's Slither's ultimate right there. It can't kill you, but it can certainly get you down to one one health and be really annoying. So that's exactly what it did. Voodoo's gonna heal me, which is nice, and I thank you for it, but it's not gonna do us much good. We gotta go back to base anyway. So what do we want to get? We obviously want to get Beast Heart. And we'll take that over here. I tell you, going from Dota to Heroes of New Earth, the one thing that I love about this game and that I actually kind of take for granted until I play Dota 2 a lot again, I played Dota 2 a lot. That's the fact that in Heroes of New Earth, they got rid of the secret shop. There used to be secret shops, but they got rid of it. And thank God for that. Secret shops are dumb, man. I don't like them. I know they... They play into the metagame of Dota 2, 
a lot, but I just don't care for the secret shops. I dig being able to buy everything from uh, everything from the base. And then courier it over to yourself. Also, here is a new earth. You automatically just have a courier, which is nice. So, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is an extremely passive game. I don't like that at all. At all. One bit. All right, I got four seconds, and then I should be able to pop my ult. Let's just pop it right now. And let's, uh... This is going to get him. It, uh, that was kind of a waste of an ult, to be completely honest, but... I feel like I would have died if I didn't pop it. So it's taking a lot of damage. So ultimately, it's not that bad. My ult's only on a 100 second cooldown, and I believe it goes down. Yeah, it goes down to a minute at max level. And electrician's dead. I just punched him in the damn face with my giant drill. Oh, that's an illusion. I do, I really appreciate the, what's this guy doing over here? I really, really appreciate the animations. Let's split this up. He's gonna get him anyway. Oh my god. Where's my team? I really do appreciate the animation quality in Dota 2. Not that the animations are bad in Heroes of New Earth by any stretch of the imagination, just Dota 2. There's there's something about it that's so fluid. Uh, not Not like water. Well, I guess like water, but just the animations are just so crisp and so fluid. Let's grab those two. It's just, it, Dota 2 feels like it's alive, if that makes any sense. It feels like a kind of a living, breathing world, and I commend them for making that, how do I, oh yeah, okay, that's how I move those in this game. I commend them for making that uh, work so well. Like the, the feud between Tidehunter and Kunkka is, really believable and it's just it adds that depth and the characters taunting each other when they you know kill each other or get killed or whatever it just has a lot of character that's the word i was looking for dota 2 has a lot of character and not that uh yeah sure let's get head smash not that here's the newer it doesn't have character because it, it really does it exudes character and that's one of the things i said i think in my comparison video if i didn't say it then let me say it now Heroes of New Earth, I think the character designs are a lot more inspired. I think the spell designs are a lot more inspired. Uh, I just, I think the Heroes of New Earth is a little bit more inventive than, god dang it, I was a little slow. I didn't, I didn't see that he actually caught somebody. And I'm not, obviously I'm not gonna charge in there. Yeah, I think it's a little bit, uh, but I think Dota has the character. And here's the New Earth has like the design or whatever. I, I don't I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. If you keep hearing a weird like clanking noise, it's my broke ass chair. So <laughs> I broke my chair and now I can't legitimately uh as, as I just go flying there. I can't like it it, it won't stay in one position, so Anytime I slightly move forward or slightly move back, it makes a clanking noise. It's extremely annoying to me and probably also to you. So this game uh, is, I don't know if it's really boring. Wow, nice hook gauntlet. I don't know if it's really boring by comparison, but this game is, uh, let's get Elec right here. Giant shield. Okay, sorry, I had to concentrate. Oh shit, I got stats! <laughs> no, I meant to get my ult. This game is a little bit uh, slow and dull in comparison to... Uh... Oh fuck, I'm gonna die. No, don't don't bring me back here. <laughs> it's a little bit dull, never mind. I take it back though, after, after what just happened. But I was gonna say, it's a little dull in comparison to D2 Wear. If you don't know what D2 Wear is, and hopefully, like I said, if I can get it to work, I'll have some videos produced on it. But D2 Wear is a site that hosts plugins for Dota 2 uh, for the old like game types and game modes that you could activate in Dota 1 in the Warcraft 3 engine. So, like, you can set 
things like deathmatch where you have a, a set number of lives and every time you die you have to pick a new hero from the uh, from the pool of heroes and you know the hero that you chose gets eliminated from the pool so essentially you keep picking until there are no more heroes left no more heroes I just realized that's a game on the Wii that I actually own that I never played sad because I heard that's a good game too but Wii games man I just can never get into them I played like three games on my Wii before it just turned into a brick <laughs> that I don't use anymore and there's other plugins in D2Wear sorry for the scatterbrained commentary but I'm I, I, I have no excuse really but yeah there's a uh, random OMG which is the the main mode in D2Wear if you go into any lobby most likely you're going to find a random OMG in one of the three plugins. So how it works is you can have three plugins. I find it funny that I've probably talked about Dota 2 more than I've talked about Heroes of New Earth in this video, but alas. How D2 Wear works is you can pick up to three plugins of their multitude of plugins to set up a hopefully fun game type. Random OMG is definitely the most popular one. What it is, is it gives whatever hero you choose a random set of abilities from all of the heroes in the game so let's just pop my ult right here I, I have no recourse for what I'm doing right now I'm kinda just doing stuff because I know essentially as lodestone I can't really die beyond like in the first couple minutes after that I can't it's really hard for me to die unless they're farmed and as you can see the score is 36 to 5 we're way ahead of them so they're, they're gonna have a hard time killing me so I really just don't <laughs> I've stopped paying attention essentially but yeah random OMG gives you a random set of uh, skills sorry for that block Draconis but yeah it gives you a random set of skills so you can end up getting say if you uh, if you random Phantom Lancer. Sure, we'll say you random Phantom Lancer. You can end up getting Puck's uh, first skill. You can end up getting the second skill from Venomancer, the third skill from Tusk, and then the ultimate from Night Stalker, which is actually really shitty. That's And there, there are good combinations and bad combinations, obviously. One time I got four passive abilities, which was definitely stupid. And I was playing Warlock. Oh, I just fucking drilled that guy into the ground. <laughs> I got four passive abilities playing as Warlock. And, you know, one of them was a crit. Just head smash that guy to death. One of them was a crit. Uh, and then there's another plugin called uh, Fighting Chance. And what that does, every five minutes... Oh, hello, Swiftblade. I'm sorry, buddy, but you're not going to be able to kill me. Every five minutes, you get a... Uh, Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's hard to concentrate. I'm getting grabbed by electrician. Every five minutes you get a random item. Ranging from, you know, a, a ironwood branch to a divine rapier. And I got Daedalus, which is the crit uh, item in Dota 2. Then I got Crystalis at the 10 minute mark. So I got Daedalus at the 5 minute mark and got Crystalis. So I had mass crits, but I was... Warlock, which means I have a really bad attack animation, at least to me. I don't know. That might just be me, Frostburn. So I have 4k gold, I just realized, as I went off this D2 wear ta tangent. Uh, what am I going to buy with the 4k gold? I don't even know. Let's open up our shop. I guess we'll buy a heart and completely ignore the fact that I started uh, Barbed Armor and I'm not going to finish it. Because I'd rather finish this game, to be completely honest. Yeah, there you go, Draconis. And there's... I, I, I'm i sorry, this has nothing to do with, I, with what I was just talking about. But it's nice to remember that there are differences. There are major differences that aren't... May, oh, try again, because that made no sense. There are major differences... That are very minor in the grand scheme of things, but but they make major differences, 
I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, I died. <laughs> Slither, you lucky bitch. You got away. So, like, uh, what's it called? Thunderclaw in this game? Yeah, Thunderclaw. So this ability, it's every fifth attack. Whereas Maelstrom in, uh, in Dota 2, it is, I believe, a 25% chance to proc the... To proc the lightning, bounce lightning. That's not what it's even called, that's what I'm Bounce chain lightning. There we go, alright. I'm back on track. So yeah, there's there's a 25% chance in Dota, but on Heroes of New Earth, it's every fifth attack. So it gives you a little bit of different play style. So you can choose when your chain lightning is going to hit. Sorry, I hit my mic again there. You can choose when your chain lightning is going to hit, more or less. And the same with Draconis. Uh, he has his little fire breath as his fourth or third ability. Okay, this is getting goddamn ridiculous. This is getting real silly. We're 50 kills almost. Pop my ult. Nope, well, that was kind of a waste. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I was talking about, but you, you probably got the point by now. We should probably smack Swiftblade. Huh? Let's smack him. Oh, God, I did not mean to jump up there. Whatever, I'm gonna get hit by this tower, but it doesn't really matter. Waste of time. Waste of time. All right, let's just smack on this defense tower. Why not? And then go and smack on their actually slightly tiny world tree. Let's just kill those guys. And this game should be over very, very soon. Which I, I think. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know why I just got scared, but I did. I was like, there's a, there's a red guy coming out. Oh jeez. Now I should be scared. I'm gonna jump up over here and completely murder that pyromancer. I almost called her Lena, because that's what she looks like, that's what that skin looks like. So this was a very quick game, especially uh, for how it turned out, or how it started out, rather. Just pop this right here. Oh my god. <laughs> See. You just saw Audacity. I don't know. I think I might have hit alt, uh, alt on accident, but whatever. I got to see that. I was clipping pretty badly, <laughs> which is fine. No, Lodestone. Hit the world tree. Thank you. I don't know what these fools are over here doing. Getting killed, it looks like. Oh my god. Swiftblade, don't, don't fuck with me, man. Whatever. I don't even care. You can't... You can't even be on my level swift blade i'm just gonna drill your friggin world tree to death then we're gonna disconnect take a look at our medals here where am i at i'm right here double or nothing swear the most double tabs and miser use the least consumables that's right i didn't use not one consumable okay let's go to our lunatorium lunatorium i said all right lunatorium what am i doing match stats there we go apm 164 this gauntlet had 210, which makes sense, kind of. He was doing all the hooking. <laughs> hooking. <laughs> anyway, my name has been Ethel Mammer. Till next time, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.